Hey everybody, welcome back to Run and Gun, and I have a really cool tutorial for you today. Have you ever been scrolling through Instagram or one of your favorite photo browsing websites, and you've seen a really classy, professional looking handwritten logo? Well today I'm going to break down how to create one for your own photography company or name. So what you need for this logo are two different kinds of fonts. So we're going to head over to defont.com and we're going to find the two fonts that we're going to use for this photo logo. And the two fonts you're going to need are a handwritten script font and a sans serif font, which basically means it doesn't have those little feet on the ends of the letters. All right, so we're here at our font search website and I'm going to look for a handwritten script font. And then I'm going to write in my text up here, run in gun. And I can get a little preview of what my text is going to look like before I download it. I'm also going to go to more options and search public domain and 100% free, just so I'm not violating anybody's copyright and I can use these commercially on the bottom of my photos. So I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to look for a cool looking signature font that I like. I like this one, so I'm going to download it. And the next font we're going to have to look for is a sans serif font. So I can scroll back up to the top. I can look under basic fonts, sans serif. And then this is going to be our photography portion on the bottom. So I'm going to type in photography and search for that. As you can see, no little feet on the bottom of these letters. So I'm going to keep scrolling down. I'm going to find something very basic, simple that I like. This champagne and limousines font looks nice. Let's see what else we have. Geo Sans Light. I like this one, so I'm going to download this font. All right, so now that we have our two fonts downloaded, let's head back into Photoshop and get this logo started. All right, so we're back in Photoshop. We're going to create a new document. You can hit Control N or Command N on a Mac, and we'll call it Photo Logo. And then I usually make it about 2,000 by 2,000. That gives you plenty of room to make a large document, or you can scale it down if you have a smaller photograph. So click OK. I'm going to double click on the background to unlock it. And then I'm going to hit Command I or Control I to invert the layer. So I want to work with white text on a black layer. So let's make our text layer. Actually, first, I'm going to divide this in half and find the center, and I'm also going to find the center here, just so I can line this up a little bit. All you have to do for these grid lines is get your rulers up, and if they're not up, you can always hit Command R or Control R to bring up your rulers, and then click from the ruler and drag over towards the center to find the center of your composition. So, I'm going to now create a new text layer. Let's type out photography and we'll scale that up so here's our photography layer so whatever you call yourself and then photography below it so we have that and then let's create our signature layer now this is just one way you can do it if you had a pen and a tablet you could absolutely write out your own handwritten font I just find this to be the simplest to create and it's super easy and it's super quick when you don't have a lot of time so let's type out run and gun and let's find our signature font that we want to use there it is and go up to this character properties up here and change our spacing between the letters back to zero that looks good and we'll scale up our signature there we go, and then we'll just make sure everything snaps to the center and is centered. Same thing with photography. I'm actually going to make this a little bit bigger. And a quick tip when you're using sans serif fonts and you want to make your word look classy or professional, you can always go up here to your properties, your character properties, and change the spacing between your letters. When it's really tight together like that, it's not really anything special. So I like to change the spacing between the letters and that will actually spread out the letters a little bit and it just gives it that professional classy look. So I'm going to realign 
this photography layer just like that and then when I am all done I can shut off our bottom layer because it was a transparency and now I can save this as a PNG file so I can drag and drop it right on my next photo project so let's save this file save as and we'll drop this right here on the de desktop as photo logo I'll save it as a PNG save all right and we will open on our desktop we have photo logo right here there's our photo logo and now we can drag and drop it yes yes and we can drag and drop it right on our photograph we can scale it up or down so that is how to create a very simple but elegant looking photography logo that you can put on any of your photos and make them yours so that is it for this episode thank you guys for joining me i will see you guys next weekend and for more episodes just like this make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you're turning on your notifications so you see every time i drop a new video i will see you guys next weekend and until then get out and go shoot